Hi, this is a quick look at the new template for May within the EdgeRater Pro Unleashed product. And the new template is called Annual Trends Now. And uh, some people will actually call it uh, Seasonality. Um, so uh, take your pick there. But I'm going to explain what the template does and show you a few cool ways of uh, using it and using it in combination with some of the other scans that are in the system. So let's get started. OK. So right now I'm looking at the new template before it's been run. So as always, whenever you're going to run a template, um, and I mention this because uh, several people have asked me this question over the last week, um, whenever you go, go to run a template, always look on the right hand side. The templates are listed down here under their categories. And the first thing you have to do is click on the category. So I'm going to click on Annual Trends. And the second thing you would do is click on the template you want to run. And I'm going to click on the Now template. When I do that, you'll see that the symbol list uh, becomes enabled because this template requires a list of symbols to, in order to run. And all I have to do then is hit the Run button. So I'm going to do that. You see it goes and processes the data. And by the way, in my symbol list, I have uh, configured it to fetch 10 years worth of data. And that's important for these um, annual trends templates because in order to have a reasonable number of years in which to go back and look. You need to have, um, you know, more than the standard of two. Like by default, when EdgeRater downloads data for a symbols, if you don't make any adjustments to the symbol list, it will only download two years worth of data, um, and that's to kind of speed up the download process and also make um, processing of uh, the templates faster. And that's that's great for things like the uh, you know, George Lee signals or, or MACD divergences uh, in which you only need um, three, four hundred prior bars in order to calculate the, uh, the signals for today. But with this template, it looks the more years you have, the better. Maybe you don't want to have more than 10. Um, but if you have 10, it's a nice round number. And then the numbers start to make sense in these various columns. And I'm going to try and explain more about what this um, actually means. And so I've prepared a little slideshow. So, so first of all, uh, take a look at the column. I'm going to sort here by two months up. All right, so everything with high numbers in the up column has now come to the top. You see there's SLB, AMGN, ACN, ALXN. They all have this nine, one, uh, nine up uh, years and one down year. And two months, what does that mean? Well, what it's, this now template takes the date of the latest data in the symbol list, which is May the 30th, 2014. It then looks at, it projects out. So it will take from May, uh, the day after May the 30th, 2014, which is May the 31st. Um, and it will project out for, the, th the first column projects out for two weeks, then one month, then uh, this column here that I'm sorting on projects out for two months. What do I mean by projecting out? What I mean is, Think about um, from May 31st. What's two months beyond May 31st? Okay, roughly we can say that it's uh, June and July. Okay, two months, the next two months. So what it means is it's going to go back in history, and for every year that you have data for your symbol list, it's going to look um, for June and July and find out whether that was an up period or a down period and what the average percentage gain or loss was for that period. So having said that, I then will illustrate that with um, my slide deck. Okay, so now we're looking at uh, AMGN, AMGN, and this is the the period that's highlighted here is 2004 from June, uh, including June and July. Okay, and you can see by looking at this that the overall percentage gain loss for the period it was a, it was an up period because the period started here and it ended here even though there were down points in the middle of this period it really started here ended here so it was an up period now look at that for 2005 okay that was an up period too and 2006 was an up period as well even though it had a down period in the middle it ended up being an up an up period so that would be counted as another another up this um, 
This one is, is interesting, even though it looks like it is a down period, it actually is an up period, but just because of the finer details of the way the calculations are done. May the 30th, remember, is the date that the last date in the symbol list. The 31st, in some years, the 31st is actually a trading day. Didn't happen to be this year, but um, in 2007 it was a trading day. So this includes the 31st, and we're taking the open price on the 31st, which is down here, and it goes through to the end of July, which happens to be this green bar here, and it takes the closing price on the end period. So that actually happens to be an up up period too. So so far, all of the all of those periods in all of those years, 2004, 2007, have been up. 2008 was an up period, and nine, and ten. But 11 is clearly a down. Had it you know in 2011, June to July, Amgen went down in price. Uh, 2012 it was up, 2013 it was up, and now what we are trying to sort of determine is what might happen in 2014 based on what's happened in all of the prior years. And that is what the template is trying to show. So let's go back to the actual template. And now we'll take a look at, you can see that Amgen here, it says it was a nine and one. And with an average percentage gain, if you include the nine and the one, take the average percentage gain of all those periods and it was 13%. So if the same thing happened, like the average thing happened this year, you might expect there to be, over the next two months, there to be uh, an up period, um, so a percentage gain of roughly 13% in Amgen. Now, I'm not saying that 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 is going to happen, but that's the premise of this 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 whole seasonality uh, business is that you you try and take what has happened in certain periods in history, and then project out for for th for the same period this year. Um, that is what the template tries to do. Now, one of the powerful things that you can do with the program, Edgerator Pro Unleashed, is once you've run this scan, this can be a confirmation for you. So you might. Um, for instance, you might be trading the code blue um, template or signals based on, on code blue. So what you can do here is, for instance, I can double click on the uh, uh, Amgen and then I can choose in my layout. So I can go to, let's see, we'll find the uh, code blue layout. Okay. And so now we know that historically, over the last 10 years, Amgen has had a, a, a 9 and a 1 for the next two months. Um, it's also not quite a code blue, but you can see that there's some um, almost a code blue. You've got three blue signals. Uh, you don't have a pocket pivot, but you've got you've got the daily bongo, the fast force, and the slow force. So, but what you can do quickly is take your list here and then start scrolling through. So I, I know that SLB Slumberger is also a um, it also has the nine one, and now that does have code blue. It's got pocket pivots, it's got weekly bongo, daily bongo, fast force and slow force. And we come down to ACN. ACN, uh, also pocket pivot, four of the blue signals. So that is also a code blue stock. And so what, I've, what I'm seeing now is that this is code blue, but also with seasonality in its favor. So it's a very powerful way to use uh, seasonality with a combination of other things you're interested in. So may maybe your primary interest is in uh, things that are exhibiting code blue, but then you want to b make sure you're buying a stock in a time that is, has been historically good for that for that stock. So it's a good way to let you see that. Now one of the other tricks that you can do, and somebody uh, reminded me of this uh, this weekend after I released the template, um, this is a good way to work as well. Once you've run your scan for the uh, historical performance now, you can use this pop-out feature 
And what that does is it creates a separate window with these results. So why is that useful? Well, what you can do is you can leave that window open while you go and run other scans. So now, if I go back to um, EdgeRater Pro, and then I go back to maybe now I'm interested in looking at the uh, the George Lee squeezes, and I want to run daily squeezes. So I select George Lee category, I select daily signals, I hit run, and now I have on the top of this list uh, the the stocks that are exhibiting squeezes that I might be interested in tra trading. But I also have open that window that uh, I popped out, that is still open. And so I see that FXY might be something I'm interested in. I want to see what the seasonality was on FXY. What I can do is I can hit my Control and F key, F for Freddy, which in many Windows programs is the uh, shortcut key for find and then I can find f, x, y. Okay, I've come down to the f, x, y row and I can see that um, projecting, it, projecting out only two weeks it had more down years than it had up years but as we go through to two months now it had six up years and one down year. The um, reason it doesn't have 10 here is because f, x, y doesn't have 10 years of history. The reason is that f, x, y probably didn't start trading um, or wasn't trading for the whole 10 years and it came in um, maybe uh, seven years ago. And then you can look through this whole row and see how it's performed over various periods all starting from May the 31st of the prior years and going out whatever the period is indicated up here. So that's it, a very uh, useful template to use in combination with some of the other scans that we have in the system, the MACD divergences, the George Lee squeezes, and any of the other templates that give signals. Uh, if you want to get, get a conf confirmation in terms of seasonality, you can use the new annual trends category and use the now template. That's it. Thanks for watching.